What's up Facebook land? Real quick video here. Uh, we just had another one that we closed yesterday that was an SOS loan. Um, what that means, people were asking about it when I posted it. Basically, it's like when somebody gets pre-approved, they think they're all good, and then they go to, you know, they've, they've been pre-approved by some lender, and then they go through the process, and then they've just been slammed, denied, and so forth, right at the end, okay? Uh, it's a horrible, horrible way people get stressed out. I remember when I first got into the business, when I, before I got into the business, one of the main reasons was to, um, because I got so frustrated with the whole process, I'm like, how can something like this happen? And hold on one second, these text messages kind of, and I was so frustrated by it, my whole process, the communication of it, just everything um, that I got into the business. But basically one of the big things that happened to a lot of people is that when they submit an application or they submit anything to, to the lender, uh, let's just say an application, the lender doesn't dig deep enough and take its due diligence to make sure something doesn't blow up. So what you have to do is when you, when you buy a house and so forth, uh, you have to be very, very careful um, and make sure that they're not just pre-approved, that means nothing. That's 18 different versions for 18 different lenders and a lot of it doesn't mean much. But basically what, what you really need to do is have a pre-underwritten file, a TBD underwritten file. Like we, we got one right now that we put the brakes on um, because what they told us was one thing and then when we started getting documentation in, it was completely different. So what we do is grab documentation, we submit it as a TBD underwrite to be determined property underwrite and we get a full underwrite on it, especially when we've got a lot of gray area with, with income, which we do have on this one. So it's something, we just had one that we just closed yesterday, it took us a couple weeks um, and they were denied, I think two or three days before closing. I think they were on a contract for over 40 days, uh, which is crazy. It's one of the big lenders you see on TV all the time. It's just insane. Well, we took that file, we turned it around, and in two weeks, uh, we, we pulled everything uh, out and, and got a clear close. So the whole point of this video is that when you do get, uh, you know, when you start shopping for a house, don't just get pre-approved and say, hey, I'm pre-approved. Have they underwritten your file? That is the key. If they don't do that, then it's gonna be a major, major issue. Um, you gotta fully underwrite the file uh, to make sure the income is looked at correctly, I don't care if you get 800 credit scores, it means nothing, okay? We had somebody in, in here the other day, they got, they have about $600,000 in the bank, 800 credit scores, but they got no income. And we can still make the deal work, not because of the just using income, but we have to use, um, or using the assets, we're gonna use the assets as income from systematic withdrawal. My whole point in saying that is that if you don't have somebody who knows who digs deeper on the front end, you're gonna wind up being a victim at the end, two or three uh, days before closing. Thanks, Stacy. And you really don't want that. You really want to um, take your time and go through everything and make sure you have everything done the right way so it doesn't blow up. Uh, every transaction we say involves about 25 or 30 people, title people, insurance people, and mortgage people, you know, families, movers, everything else, at least 25 people. It's not about, uh, you, know, it, you know, and something else we say, it's not about the lender. It's about all those people who are involved. And a lot of those big box lenders don't get that. They just, they're the number, they throw the fishing net out, and they get 1% coming back. They're happy with it. They don't care how much stress they put on everybody else. So hopefully this helps you. Remember, get pre-underwritten files, TBD approvals on the front end. We do that. We have our awesome underwriters, uh, awesome system, awesome team in place. Uh, so we just try to try to make sure there's there's very few mistakes. If there's any, that means it's been through three or four different layers and something's happened. Maybe they uh, filed the wrong way to IRS or something like that. Or maybe uh, there were some large deposits, uh, you know, in there that's not there. So that, that, that all of a sudden a new bank statement showed at the end or something like that. So anyway, just be careful out there. If you have any questions, comment down below, Facebook message me, text me at 423-262. 9229. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you soon.